This morning we have a report that the object got much brighter than expected and moreover the color of the object is blue bluer than the sun and that's very surprising because usually when there is dust around an object it should make it red. Coronagraph systems positioned throughout cislunar space are documenting an unprecedented chromatic transition. The interstellar visitor designated 3I Atlas has undergone a measurable color shift from green bioluminescent emissions to intense blue radiation signatures during perihelion passage. This wavelength change indicates thermal conditions exceeding solar photosphere temperatures. The sun is 5800 degrees Kelvin above absolute zero and it's very difficult to keep a surface hotter than that. In fact, an object at the distance of 3 Atlas from the sun could only be 20 times cooler than the sun, so it should be redder. A phenomenon with no natural precedent in cometary observation history. Current astrophysical models predict the opposite chromatic behavior. Objects approaching stellar proximity should exhibit red-shifted spectral profiles as particulate matter preferentially scatters shorter wavelengths while transmitting longer frequencies. Yet multi-platform coronagraph data reveals 3I Atlas now radiating in blue spectral bands, suggesting internal energy generation surpassing 5,800 Kelvin baseline solar surface temperatures. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has formally classified this chromatic anomaly as the 10th observational inconsistency, proposing a critical research question. Does this interstellar visitor employ active thermal management systems operating at temperatures exceeding natural stellar processes? I just want as much evidence as possible so that they would not be able to shove the anomalies under the carpet of traditional thinking. That's my motivation. Right. So I'm uh, inspiring a debate right now, and there is a huge interest in that debate so that we will collect as much data as possible so that by the end of the day we'll figure out what our dating partner is. Consider the fundamental physics challenge. Standard thermal radiation follows Wien's displacement law. Higher temperatures produce shorter wavelength emissions appearing blue, while lower temperatures generate longer wavelength emissions appearing red. For 3I Atlas to transition from green bioluminescence to blue thermal signatures, while subjected to intense solar bombardment, represents a reversal of expected heat dissipation patterns. The mass of the object tells you how much heat it can retain from the formation process, and then the surface area tells you how fast it can cool. On October 29, 2025, the object reached minimum solar distance, experiencing 770 watts per square meter thermal loading. Geometric alignment positioned the visitor directly behind solar disk from Earth concealed since October 21st conjunction. Three space-based coronagraph systems documented the transition. Stereo A's Core 2 platform captured approach phase data from Earth-leading orbital position. SOHO's LASCO suite at Sun-Earth Lagrange Point L1 provided continuous monitoring. GOES 19's Core 1 instrument, deployed in 2024, resolved fine-scale structural details. Collective analysis reveals systematic deviation from predicted cometary behavior. Physics dictates comets should appear redder near the sun. Rayleigh scattering redirects blue wavelengths while red propagates. Cometary temperatures remain orders of magnitude below photospheric levels, generating infrared and red emissions, not blue. Dr. Loeb, just you were four out of 10. Has that number moved up? that this thing might be intelligent life and not just a big rock barreling through the solar system. I think with the blue color, it, uh, it, it's now a, a, a bit above four. August observations showed three I atlas with expected green-red coloration. The perihelion data represents fundamental departure. Coronagraph imagery shows distinct blue spectral dominance. According to Loeb's technical analysis, this chromatic shift constitutes an extremely surprising discovery that challenges conventional understanding of natural object thermal behavior. Pay close attention to what this temperature signature implies. Loeb's analytical framework poses the decisive question. Does the object employ internal energy sources generating thermal outputs exceeding solar surface temperatures? If confirmed, we're documenting technology capable of sustained thermal management, surpassing stellar photosphere conditions. 
capabilities transcending current human engineering by multiple orders of magnitude. For 3i Atlas to exhibit blue spectral dominance while embedded in the solar corona suggests active energy production, maintaining temperatures above 5,800 Kelvin operational thresholds. Coronagraph data reveals luminous envelope extending approximately 300,000 kilometers, approaching Earth-Moon orbital radius. This matches the massive carbon dioxide plume detected during August. New measurements document brightness amplification rates significantly exceeding Oort cloud comets. Research teams acknowledge mechanisms driving this remain obscure. No established physics framework explains the observed behavior. Currently, distributed radio observatory networks maintain continuous electromagnetic monitoring. Detection arrays scan for structured transmissions. Excess infrared signatures indicating propulsion systems, trajectory perturbations, or deployment of reconnaissance modules. Congressional oversight committees are facilitating declassification of high-resolution imagery from October 2nd, observations potentially revealing structural characteristics invisible in public channels. What you're about to discover demonstrates this represents only the latest in a systematic pattern of statistical improbabilities. This 10th anomaly joins an extensive catalog. First, trajectory alignment within five degrees of the ecliptic plane. Probability, 0.2%. Second, July-August material ejection directed towards solar center. Every documented comet exhibits opposite pattern. Third, compositional spectroscopy revealed elevated nickel relative to iron, matching manufactured terrestrial alloys rather than cosmic mixtures. Fourth, Approach vector from identical celestial coordinates as the 1977 WOW signal, two events spanning 48 years indicating the same spatial origin. Fifth, extreme dehydration, only 4% water versus typical 80 to 90%. Sixth, chromatic transition from green to blue thermal emissions. Computing combined probability, less than one in 10 quadrillion comparable to winning major lottery systems 15 consecutive times. Most people watching will miss what December observations could reveal. December 19, 2025. 3. I-Atlas reaches minimum Earth distance. James Webb Infrared Systems will acquire direct spectroscopic data. Hubble will capture high-resolution structural analysis. Dozens of facilities worldwide are coordinating the most intensive observation campaign ever directed toward an interstellar visitor. Current models suggest the object will emerge exhibiting enhanced luminosity. The blue signature may intensify. Loeb emphasizes maximum data acquisition is critical. He states, the implication of alien technology would be enormous, and therefore we must take this possibility seriously. If 3i Atlas incorporates technology generating thermal output exceeding stellar temperatures, the engineering capabilities required transcend anything within current human development frameworks. Thermal signatures reveal energy budget architectures. Natural objects operate passively, absorbing solar radiation and re-emitting at lower temperatures, producing redshifted profiles. Active objects generating internal energy potentially exhibit blue-shifted signatures if processes operate above solar photosphere levels. This distinction fundamentally separates natural phenomena from technological systems. No previous interstellar visitor has displayed this combination. Oumuamua demonstrated non-gravitational acceleration without visible outgassing. Borisov appeared completely conventional. 3i Atlas exhibits patterns spanning from highly anomalous to physically contradictory. Culminating in this signature, conventional models cannot accommodate. What renders this unprecedented is the real-time nature of observation. This object currently transits our solar system, positioned within range of our most sophisticated detection infrastructure, exhibiting characteristics demanding explanations that don't yet exist. The global scientific community has mobilized comprehensive resources. Space agencies coordinate data sharing protocols, Military and civilian systems synchronize detection. Professional researchers and citizen scientists collaborate on the most significant identification effort in observational history. Three analytical frameworks remain. First, unknown natural physics. 
Our models contain fundamental gaps. Second, extreme statistical edge case. Multiple low probability factors converged. Third, technological origin. We're documenting manufactured systems from extrasolar civilizations. Each would revolutionize understanding. New physics would mandate textbook revision. An extreme edge case would demonstrate how incomplete our knowledge remains. Technological origin would answer humanity's oldest existential question. The blue signature continues manifesting in coronagraph data streams. Stereo A maintains monitoring as 3i Atlas emerges from perihelion. SOHO tracks every fluctuation. GOES-19 captures data at unprecedented resolution. Embedded within those streams exists an answer that will fundamentally alter our understanding, either regarding physics or our position within cosmic frameworks. December will deliver clarity. Until then, you're witnessing scientific history documented in real time, one anomalous blue photon at a time. The implications for future space observation infrastructure investment and interstellar object detection protocol development could prove transformative for the entire aerospace research and technology sector.